Why are we still here? Try to get the get this fairy over here. Oh. Oh, oh. All right, time to get this person with the horn. Yeah. Oh, the steering is a little bit off with this towing harness attached. I haven't explored to that cube yet. Or up there. I could go up there. Oh, oh. How do I... How do I get you up? Tell me I just could grab him. I fogged up my glasses and missed what you did. But you did it. You actually did it. Thank you so much. If you hadn't come along, I don't know how much longer I would have been stuck in that hole. Come to think of it, if I hadn't so much as said a rash decision during the earliest days of the upheaval and run off on my trope, maybe things wouldn't have ended up like this. I mean, the supplies I've collected to help the feed Dorito village have all spoiled by now anyway. I shouldn't have, should have get back to the stable trotters and rejoin my bandmates that will do more good. For the time being, I should head to Snowfield Stable and play my horn for the Great Fairy there. Oh, and one more thing. Take this, please. It's a cooking ingredient I picked up in my travel. This is the least I could do for you. Get me out of here. Yeah. And now I'd better could be on my way. Why don't you come to the Snowfield Stable too? And here's reform. Alright, to the Snowfield Stable. Reminds me so much about Zelda Ocarina of Time. <laughs> I mean, listen, it's Estus, and he is. He and his horn are back in our trope. It's heartbreaking to think that our. Poor fellow got stuck in a hole on the way to Rita Village. Not to self as this doesn't know how to get to drive the cart anymore. Yeah. I'm glad he's out of that. His funk and fit as a fiddle. Estes horn will blow the stable trotters back on our court. Now that Estes is here, we can bring the fairy sound of his horn to the great fairy. It would be wonderful if we could get a form for her right away. But of course, there's always something holding the show. Our breezer's roof is broken and we would be at the mercy of the elements. Just look at the snow falling. We might be able to, we might fall ill in such weather. How we, could we perform at our best? I did try to attach a roof to the breezer. Alas, I couldn't reach high enough to do more than set off some puffs. If we could put a roof on our breezer, our performance for the great fairy is good as cancelled. Ah, uh, that sparks so much memories. <laughs> Yep, I'll take a bonnet. Ah, oh. Oh. oh! I'll take you. Let's fit it over the roof. The world hasn't abandoned, so I'll never forget your kindness. I accept your offer, I'll board everyone. 
We're all aboard the road to the Great Free Stretch by going all around from the left and climbing a little ways up the mountain. I'll leave the rest up to you, good sir. Alright, just have to attach this. Let's see if I could not get in their way. Because they have a really wide range of division. If I remember. Once I freed all the fairies, they, all of them permanently got back to power. Alright, we're here. We're here. We've done it. You have our things. You've taken us right to where we needed to be. Alright, everyone. No time to dawdle. Let's try to uh, the band. Our audience is the great fairy herself. Turn to us. This is uh, one of the greatest days of my life. The great fairy herself enjoyed my humble horn playing. What a day. What a divine presence. What a splendor. I will remember this moment of all my life. We can't hang around all day. We must return to the stable to share the good news. Thank you again. The trolling leaves your word now. Don't be shy. 100 rupees. Nice. You see that that's left a full wallet pretty light. But that's no excuse to skimp on our things. A clear conscience is worth every rup. The captain Miha is now at peace. She wasn't the only great fairy shut away in a flower bud. That's why the show must go on to the next great fairy hiding place. Oh yes, I'll be borrowing this horse so, so that I can get to the next destination. But I won't cause you any trouble. We'll do the responsibility thing and return your steed to a stable. Don't worry. Well then, good traveler. Thank you. So you're the one who arranged those soothing sounds for me. I would like, I'll, I would have liked to be released by someone bigger, but well, a s slim little lad like you is fine, it's too, I suppose. Seems the world is not so corrupt as I thought. To thank you for opening my eyes, I can enhance your clothing. But of course, I require the necessary materials to do so. The power available to me, I could imagine. I could enhance your clothing a fair amount, yes. Mm. I'll just enhance my like island island stuff real quick. Soldier's Graves. Uh let's see. There's a whole lot of cold spots. So I might as well upgrade the snow quill. Where did they take my horse? Where I did that one. Now is it this one that they went to? I think maybe this one. Yeah, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, I know that face. Yes, that's the face I know. Traveler, have you come to meet with another great fairy? Great fairy? No, you're kidding. You're not here to harass me of the great fairy Kaisa. Perhaps you came to visit at your stable. I'm sorry to say the great fairy here has also drawn into her flower, but it hasn't come up in a while. She must be scared to appear and just like what happened at the woodland stable. This is very easy to enjoy hearing Piper play in our trope. She loved the sweet notes of his flute, so I'm sure the sounds of his flute would cheer her up now. But I'm afraid Piper isn't here with us right now. Oh, Piper is a young flutist with the stable trotters. But now on a day he took his leave from the sand stroke and we haven't seen him since. Traveled from Farron to the, the southeast that they heard a series of uh, sound of a flute by stable. But, yeah. Alright. I think I have a... Uh, Alright, time to 
get a flutist. Under the water near the Great Plateau. 